Hi, my name is Gemma and I'm a design technology teacher here at Clan Ammons College. I grew up in a little village called Schoon, which is relatively close to here, and um, I just I loved working with my hands growing up. I remember my granddad spent a lot of time with him. He was a, a prison officer um, and he taught the prisoners woodwork in his spare time so that when they were released they could they could go into a trade and they, they could rebuild their life, I suppose. And in his kind of time off, he would take me to, to the workshop and we'd just let me experiment with lots of different things, make make mistakes and, and learn from it and come away with little projects that maybe didn't stand up, but um, you know, I, I was proud of what I'd made. So. I'd kind of been involved with woodwork and metalwork and, and general designing from a really young age. I think I really appreciate my granddad teaching me when I was growing up um, to, to love being creative and to love having the skill that I've got. And just being able to pass that on now, you know, means a massive amount. And seeing the kids when they've made a project and they say, you know, can we take this home now? And me say, no, I've got to wait one more lesson so they're all finished so that we can, you know, evaluate them. They just want to take them home straight away and that's, that's a really positive thing for me because it shows that they have enjoyed doing what they've done and that they're proud and they want to show their family. Something I've tried to do here is, is give the kids more choice in regards to what they make. So we allow them to design their own project and then go and make that. And that means that you know, you've not got projects that are aimed at boys or girls, you've kind of got them being able to make their own thing and put their own stamp on it and show their own creativity. I think in a world where everything's becoming technical based, I think it's really important actually to get the kids back to basics and getting them back to using their hands and you know, being able to, to actually use wood and, and to manufacture something out of it, whether it's wood, whether it's metal, plastics, you know. We've got great facilities here, we've got a 3D printer, we've got a laser cutter, we've got CNC routers, they're all computer controlled and yes, you know, it's great that the kids know how to use them, but actually it's just as important to be able to teach them how to use their hands, you know, how to create something without the use of a computer. You know, the kids we've got now are, are going to be our future, they're going to be designing the products that, that we all use. We need them to be creative, we, we don't want to see the same things coming out, you know, we want to see products that can actually solve a problem. To teach kids now how to, how to plan for the future and how to make things exciting and, you know, be successful, I think that's really important. It's not just a case of knocking a product together that's, that's going to be put to one side, it's about creating something that's going to be useful in the future. And, I remember coming down the front avenue with my, my CV on my lap um, to hand it in and thinking, wow, you know, what an absolutely stunning place to be and just the environment was just so inspirational. You, you don't get that in other places, you know, you don't get the hundreds of acres of land around you to, to go and explore and, and then be inspired by, you know, you just look out your window and you've got the countryside around you, it's, it's beautiful, it's breathtaking and it makes you realise just how lucky you are to be learning in an environment like this.